Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for June of 2021. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So um, let's just dive right into this, Cancer. I do have uh, your pre-shuffle here available for you. And it looks like you are aligning with a new partner or a potential soulmate. Okay, uh, you have the Two of Cups here with the Eight of Wands. Now, as I'm looking at this, Cancer, uh, these are just the first two cards that have come out for your pre-shuffle. But as I'm looking at this, um, it feels like the, the, the door or the trajectory is wide open, okay, for you to really... Um, for you to make this relationship possible or for you to, you know, bring this relationship into fruition. The first thing that I did pick up on when I saw the Eight of Wands here, Cancer, was um, the need to communicate with your partner. Um, con continuing forward, you do have the Eight of Swords with the Two of Wands, but also with the Lovers. So I feel like there could be some of you here that may have a number of options, okay? There's some sort of decision that you're needing to make and, and 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 maybe you don't have options. It's entirely possible that you do, but even if you don't have any options, that's that's not a big thing. Um, it feels like this is more in terms of you guys deciding whether you actually want to give this relationship a chance or not. First of all, you do. I I do want to remind you, Cancer, that you don't have to rush into the situation. Actually, it's preferable not to rush into the situation. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Knight of Pentacles, so you're going to need to take this slowly. For some of you, this could be you getting back into the dating scene for the first time after a long time of being single and working on yourself. For others of you, I feel like there is a really strong bond that you have that may be very exciting to you, Cancer, and you may be ready to just like throw in the towel and go go all in right away. And that's not necessarily advisable, okay? Um, but there's something here that's causing you to feel trapped uh, in terms of your relationship or in terms of your reality and in terms of this situation. Um, it, it, it's causing difficulty for you to make a, make a decision when it comes to whether or not to actually pursue or uh, I guess I want to say, for lack of a better term, give in to this relationship or not. Um, but I feel like what's going to help balance that out or what's going to help you make this decision or what's going to make help you feel better is the fact that you have the opportunity or you, at least you need to take the opportunity to really communicate with this individual or just talk. Be honest and be yourselves in terms of the situation. Be upfront. I feel like... I feel like some sort of conversation, maybe it's just one conversation that you need to have with this individual, or maybe it's getting to know each other over a period of time and multiple conversations. I just feel like there's a conversational aspect here that's going to help um, soothe your fears in terms of this situation, or if, if, it's not just, if it's not straight up fear, soothe your apprehension in terms of this, okay? It's going to help you decide. It's going to help put you in a position where you really can understand what it is you're going for here, what the goal is here, and to move forward with that in confidence, okay? All right, Cancer. Oh, the last thing that I do want to say, Cancer, um, in terms of sidereal astrology, Venus is in Gemini right now, all right? So this is actually a really great time for you to connect with individuals. Uh, it, it's uh, Venus is going to be in Gemini for most of the month of June, okay? <clears throat> um, most, if not all. I'm not exactly sure. I don't exactly remember how long it is, but it's if most, if not all of June, Venus is in Gemini. And this Venus in Gemini is the type of energy where you have individuals that um, thrive on intellectual communication or intellectual connection with another person. That's how, like, that's that's like their love language. And I'm not saying that you're connecting with a Gemini or with anyone that has Venus in Gemini. It's entirely possible that you do, but I keep, uh, my, my intuition keeps pushing the Gemini aspect here. Your chances of, com uh, of, of communicating with someone, or I'm, I'm sorry, bonding with someone just on communication alone, on the meeting of the minds alone is 
really accentuated right now, is really heightened right now, is really uh, benefited right now with Venus being in Gemini. So I would say, especially with the energy that I'm feeling coming through for you, Cancer, uh, take advantage of this. Take advantage of the intellectual connection, the meeting of the minds, and how uh, romance and love can grow from that realm of your reality in terms of with this person, okay? Now, the next cards, the next two cards that have come out here, you do have the Five of Cups with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're in a pretty defensive mode right now, Cancer, or maybe this person that you're connecting to is in a really defensive mode because of past soulmate situations. I am picking up specifically that somebody here just recently came out of a strong soulmate situation or what they thought was going to be a really strong bond really lasting bond and that doesn't seem to have happened that way obviously it happened for the better and i do feel like for some of you um if you were to really like dry your eyes and really look at what you still have standing whatever soulmate situation that you lost in the past is obviously being or the universe is trying to replace that with something new something better or someone new and someone better okay a better circumstance a better situation but i don't think but 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 the the, the point here cancer is that you're not really going to know unless or until you really open up and start communicating about it okay all right, I'm going to give this five shuffles here, Cancer, and we're going to get into the rest of your reading for this month. Yeah, one. For my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021, this is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into this here. I'm going to cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Cancer. We have the Seven of Pentacles. You know what's really interesting about this, Cancer? What this is saying to me is this is not about you taking stock of what's going on externally. This is about you taking stock of, uh, in terms of what's going on internally for you, okay? So this really kind of feels like an energy cancer of you sitting here or standing here having a certain conversation with yourself saying, well, if I want a change in my life, then I'm going to have to change something too. Like if I want some sort of change in my external reality to be visible, to take hold, to take shape, then that, that change is going to need to happen within me, first of all. I'm not saying that you've done anything wrong or anything like that. I'm saying this is speaking more to, or it's feeling like more, speaking more towards your apprehension towards entering into this new relationship. There's only one way to find out. And that's just to either ask the question or get into the situation, right? Now, First and foremost, remember that we were saying, don't just rush into something, open up and start to communicate with the individual. But I feel like there's even apprehension towards communicating or opening up at all. And if you're good, if you want to, if you want to get to your destination, you're going to have to get back on the bike or you're going to have to get back on the horse and continue riding this riding forward, moving forward. The saving grace here, Cancer, is that just because you may be entering back into the realm of love and relationships, it doesn't mean that you have to approach it the same way you did in the past. And that's the beauty about the Seven of Pentacles. So I do feel like you're going through a period right now, Cancer, where you're having a real serious talk with yourself and saying, okay, what it is that I, what is it that I want? What is it that I want to achieve? And how do I get there? Well, I have this opportunity in front of me now and... I mean, I could shy away from it and, and not take advantage of it, or I could move forward with it and change the way I approach it, do it differently now than I did in the past with the lessons from the past under my belt. Make sense? Underneath the Seven of Pentacles is the Eight, uh, sorry, the Ace of Pentacles. And then underneath the Ace of Pentacles is the Ten of Cups. But also underneath the Ten of Cups is the Two of Wands. So Cancer, this is very clear. You have a brand new opportunity in front of you in terms of something. I'm, I, I'm literally hearing love and relationships, so that's what we're going to go with here. And if that doesn't resonate for you, then I guess that just isn't the message for you at this moment. 
but you have the opportunity. I'm even seeing a ring with this Ace of Pentacles, which can either mean literal engagement or just a proposal of commitment. Okay, and it really has the potential to bring you a lot of satisfaction and a lot of happiness in your life. But here's the kicker, Cancer. You have to choose. You have to choose it. You can either go down that path, take this opportunity in front of you, or not go down the path of not taking it. It's up to you. Underneath the Two of Wands is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, completion. And this feels like, Cancer, completion of... Um, past life lessons and past life circumstances that at this point you really just need to leave behind you eight of cups and keep your boundaries up seven of wands not allow anything like that to happen again you learn the lesson from it right if as long as you've learned the lesson which this looks like you have ten of pentacles is a completion in terms of that as long as you've learned the lesson there's no reason to have to relive that again but you have to choose it has to be your choice okay you're going to hear Jinx in the background because she caught a lizard and now she's brought it inside and she's chasing it everywhere. See? All right, Cancer, let's move forward here. 1111 on the counter. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, you have the Six of Swords. And I feel like, Jinx, come on now. It's hiding from you because it doesn't want to be tortured. So, <sighs> cats. Anyway, you have the Six of Swords here, Cancer, and the Six of Swords is talking about you moving on. And I just feel like regardless of how your apprehension towards it right now, I feel like whatever it is you're moving towards in terms of your love life or just in terms of whatever's going on for you in your life right now, you're moving towards something that's going to be much better for you, much more beneficial, much easier to flow with. It definitely feels like you're moving from rough waters to calmer waters in this situation, okay, Cancer? That may not be an aspect that you are fully aware of. Um, it may even be something that you're not quite allowing yourself to see because of fear of the past, but that's definitely what I feel like is happening here, okay? You're moving on to something much better, much, much better, all right? Six of Swords is coupled with... Ah, but there's the devil, the shadow side. And it feels like this is absolutely what you're moving away from, Cancer. And yet, as you're moving away from it, it's like the energies of this keep trying to pull you back in. Don't let that happen, okay? Keep moving forward, yeah? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first... I'm sorry, not Gemini, Cancer. In the first half of your reading, you do have the Ten of Swords. There you go. Just like I said. Okay, you're moving on. The ending of the pain, the ending of a tough cycle, the completion of all that, it's, you're moving away from this now, okay? And you have to just trust the process and you have to let go. You just have to let go of the past. We're not saying let go to the point where you forget the lessons, obviously not, but you have to let go of the fear surrounding it, okay? If you've learned, if you've sufficiently learned the lessons, which I do feel like you have, then there's nothing you need to worry about because you know how to defend yourself better in the future, okay? You know how to, you have a better idea of how to not find yourself in that same position again. And that takes changing your approach, okay? Not doing the same thing, doing things the same way as you did in the past, but this time expecting it to somehow miraculously work out differently. No, you've got to change your approach. And that change in approach comes directly from the lessons that you learned in this situation to, or, or in past situations that have led you to where you are right now. There's the end right there, okay? Ten of Swords is coupled with the Two of Pentacles, all right? But this is asking you to find balance in your life. It's not about finally coming to an end of some sort of rough or toxic cycle and saying to yourself or going to the extremes where it's like, all right, well, just to make sure that I don't do that again, I'm going to make sure I never get myself into any, like I'm not going anywhere near that ever again. That's, in, that's not balanced, okay? It's more about moderation, I guess we can say. It's also more about just learning the lessons and finding a way to stay balanced and whole as you move forward, okay? But don't go to the extremes of like completely rejecting all new offers, and especially if we're talking about love here, rejecting all new love offers that could really be beneficial because of the pain from the past, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, is the Four of Swords, keeping your mind clear, stable, and settled, okay? Keeping a level head here. Four of Swords is coupled with 
the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so your challenge here, Cancer, in the first half of your reading is keeping a level head as you go through these deep changes, these profound changes is what I just heard, all right? It may seem daunting, it may seem crazy and weird and out of control or out of ordinary or out of the usual in the very beginning, but that's only the preliminary process of this new, I keep hearing, profound change. Your challenge here is to make sure that you keep your mind as stable and settled as possible as you go through a pretty drastic change here, okay? I will say that it does feel drastic, but it's a big change that's a positive and beneficial one, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have the Six of Pentacles. And for those of you that are dealing with a new relationship, a new loving relationship, I definitely feel like you're moving towards a situation that's going to be balanced and reciprocal and harmonious. All right? For sure. For some of you, we could actually be talking about business, finances, uh, and a new career path. I know I was picking up on love in the beginning, but it's entirely possible. That, especially with the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles here, I do feel like now I'm picking up the vibe of this actually could be a potential work relationship, whether this be a new job, a new career, or maybe just a new position in work, okay, in your job or career. Six of Pentacles is coupled with, there you go, the Six of Wands. And you know what's so funny, Cancer? This victory feels very much like a personal victory because what I'm getting with this Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, whatever new is coming forward towards you right now that's kind of causing a bit of apprehension it actually is giving you or has the potential to give you exactly what it is that you want in the realm of reciprocity. I, when, the, when I saw the Six of Wands come out here, um, I heard that specifically. You're getting exactly what you asked, exactly what you want or exactly what you asked for in terms of a reciprocal, balanced and harmonious relationship. And that may be the element that's kind of freaking you out a little bit because you may because of the uncertainty you don't quite know how things are going to happen but this is a little bit of confirmation here okay six of pentacles six of wands six of wands is that victory six of pentacles is the reciprocity the balance between give and take okay okay cool so let's get into the second half of your reading here, Cancer. Yeah, first set of surrounding energies, you have the King of Pentacles. Okay, you could be connecting with a Taurus or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Gemini, I'm sorry, Capricorn, Virgo. I don't know why, I, well, I do know. I keep saying Gemini because I just did Gemini right before your reading. So, okay, but maybe you're connecting with a Gemini also. Keep that in mind. Or maybe the Gemini reading may really resonate for you. So check that out. King of Pentacles here. First thing that I thought of, I picked up on when the thing, King of Pentacles came out is if you are aligning with a masculine individual, whether that be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. We're talking about energetic residents and not gender. If you are uh, aligning with a masculine energy, then this individual is very reliable, is very stable, very grounded, very relationship and commitment oriented. It may actually be a Taurus and Taurus and Cancer at least from my life experience, Taurus, Taurus and Cancer go so well together, okay? Um, but what I'm picking up on here for you, Cancer, is the fear of the unknown and then past situations, past circumstances that you've experienced are leaving you apprehensive. But I do feel like this is someone that you really can trust. The loyalty is there. That's what I just heard, okay? Now, we do have a new moon in Taurus this month a new moon solar eclipse um, on the 10th of June, okay? So there could be a little bit, there could be something involved with that. Um, so, and, and that that the new moon in Taurus is all about, this is from sidereal astrology, of course, but uh, that's all about implementation. So there are some, there may be some things that you're actually able to put into practice now. And that could very well be surrounding love and relationships, okay? There's a level of being stable, stout, stable, grounded, and sturdy within yourself and who it is you know you are and a solidity in terms of the lessons that you've learned from the past, okay? That you can rely on, yeah? Cool. King of Pentacles is coupled with 
judgment, or in this case, karma. Now, I'm getting pretty specifically here that if you are aligning with a new partner, you called this in. <clears throat> the reason why this is happening is because you are in karmic alignment with this. And when I say karmic alignment, I don't mean negative karma. I mean, but I guess positive karma. You're in alignment with it. This is what you have called in. This is kind of an energy of you calling in your soulmate here, okay? Or calling in a soulmate that resonates with you at this moment in your life. God, Lord, God only knows how long it's going to last, but I mean, God does himself, does, or their self, him or herself doesn't, probably doesn't even know how long it's going to last, but because that there's always free will, free will, right? But I just feel like with karma or just uh, judgment and the king of pentacles here, I just feel very strongly that the work that you've been doing on yourself, Cancer, has called this individual in for you because you're now in energetic alignment, okay? Vibrational alignment, if you will, yeah? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the second half of your reading, you have the, ooh, look at that. Now you have the king of wands. Interesting. Leo energy, or maybe another fire sign, Aries and Sagittarius. There's a lot of passion here. A whole hell of a lot of passion. Who was I talking to? It was Taurus, actually. I was talking to Taurus about this. So Cancer, you really actually may be aligning with a Tauren and vice versa. A Tauren may be aligning with you. But what I'm feeling now is very similar to what I told Taurus in their reading with this King of Wands. The other person on the person on the other side of this situation is very, very passionate and very willing to wait and do the work that they need to do in order to get this off the ground. Even though there's passion in within this other individual, I do feel like they're very much in alignment with the Knight of Pentacles energy that came out earlier in the pre-shuffle in terms of taking it step by step, not just diving head first into it, jumping into things immediately, right? But there's a lot of passion here. And someone who knows exactly what it is that they want. Leo, you really could be aligning with a Leo or there is Leo energy involved with this because I'm looking at the rest of the cards here and for some reason I just saw the symbol of Leo flash before my eyes. So maybe you have Leo. Maybe you're the one that has this Leo energy or just has this very passionate driven energy and yet that might be what's a, what is scaring you at the moment. I say I'm here, you need to put your apprehensions to the side, okay? King of Wands is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. This individual, whether this, this is you or the other person or maybe it's both of you, but there is definitely a level of passion and commitment I'm hearing, but also a desire to work together, okay? So I really don't feel, if this is resonating for you on a relationship, on a love level, I really don't think you have to worry about getting or entering into the situation too quickly because I feel like this other person, maybe even both of you, are very in direct alignment with this Knight of Pentacles energy of taking it step by step and working together as a team to slowly but surely build something beautiful, okay? I really do feel like, Cancer, that is your strongest fear here. Could we be doing this too quickly? And as always, I think there's, there's it's always possible, but I think the energies are aligning, are, are, are aligning in a way that, you know, it's going to... You, you, you're most likely not going to be approaching it that way. And that's a really good thing, all right? Your challenge here, Cancer, in the second half of your reading <laughs> is the Knight of Cups, literally being open-hearted. <laughs> okay, moving forward with your desires, allowing yourself to be somewhat vulnerable or as vulnerable as necessary, right? Because you can't have an intimate romantic relationship with another person without being vulnerable to, us, to whatever extent right? There is a level of vulnerability that is necessary if you're going to have a relationship with someone. And so your challenge here in the second half is that level or that sense of vulnerability, okay? Knight of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Wands. There you go, Cancer. There's that communication again, but then also there's that open doorway. And the best way 
to work with this open doorway cancer is to be vulnerable, to let yourself sink into the situation, to let yourself sink into the relationship, to let yourself be open to it. That's how this is really going to move forward, all right? But also, remember, communication is key, okay? Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Cancer, in the second half of your reading. Ooh, strength. There's Leo again. All right. All right, so you really could be aligning with a Leo. Okay, you have, to be honest with you, Cancer, you have three representations of Leo energy. Okay, you have the Six of Wands. You have the King of Wands. And now you have strength. These are all official Leo energy, energetic type cards. You also have Taurus. You have Can uh, uh, Scorpio here with death. Taurus with the King of Wands. I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. Uh, you may also have Pisces here with the Knight of Cups. That doesn't, that's really not important. Okay. Um, so your closing message or potential outcome here, Cancer, what you're really going to need to do is be strong. And hold your own and step up to the plate. Allow your ego to sit, take the back seat and move forward. Don't let your ego stop you. Don't let your pride stop you, okay? Be strong and embrace the situation. Yeah? Strength is coupled with... <laughs> All right, the Nine of Swords. Um, okay, but then I want, I want to get one more card and that's good. There you are showing up cancer the chariot all right um you're moving in the right direction okay have the strength to stand up to your fears your apprehension here with the nine of swords and move forward in the direction that feels in greatest alignment with you and you will know it because it feels good okay now i'm not saying that um i will actually to be honest with you that sense of feeling good it's this is so Counter, kind of counterintuitive or counterproductive cancer, but it almost feels like that energy of how good this feels to you is also what's kind of, whoa, I don't know about this. Because again, there's, I guess there's a possibility that you're afraid you might sink too quickly or too deeply too quickly and then, you know, you're fucked. But I, I don't, I don't think that's the case here. I think you should allow yourself to move forward with this. Be strong and confident because the nine of swords is illusion okay it's it's fears that are somewhat unfounded or just they're, they're so, they become self-fulfilling prophecies because it didn't have to turn out that way but because your mind is so focused on it that ends up being what happens right so you don't have to do that face your fears stand up to them and move forward in the direction that feels right for you okay all right um, I'm going to do the same thing I did for Taurus. So since this was such a love-oriented reading, I'm going to go get some oracle guidance here for you to close out this reading from the Lover's Oracle. Yeah? All right, Cancer. Let's go. Closing oracle message for my Cancerians in terms of this situation or just for this month. The message for this month. Closing oracle guidance, please, Spirit, for my Cancerians. We've got it. We've got two cards for you, Cancer. First one says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Now, I do feel like some of you here are potentially going to use that as an excuse or as a reason, not necessarily excuse. I don't want to say it that way, but as a reason as to why you can't or as a, as a justification to your apprehension, okay? But the only thing that I can really say about that, Cancer, is to really spend some time with yourself, meditate on it, and get down to how you really truly feel about it outside of the realm of your ego. Because I feel like your ego and your conscious mind and your conscious awareness of what has gone on in the past is creating reasons as to why you can't enter into this situation right now. And that's false. Okay. Okay. Last message you have. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, 
not your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. There you go. Exactly what I was just saying. Okay, spend some time with yourself in solitude or whatever, your favorite place, nature, whatnot, whatever, and just really sit and think about it and try and separate your true feelings from what your mind is creating for you, okay? All right, Cancer, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>